Iran's capital Tehran on Tuesday brought together Russian President Putin, Turkish President Erdogan, and their Iranian counterpart Rezi. Trilateral and bilateral meetings were held here. Among them, there are three points worth special attention. Coordination on Syrian crisis emerged at the summit's agenda. As guarantor countries of the Astana process, which was initiated in 2017 for peace in Syria, they differ in their positions on the Syrian conflict. Moscow and Tehran have been key allies of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, while Ankara has backed the Syrian rebels. On Tuesday, Erdogan pledged to continue to fight terrorist organizations, and expected Russia and Iran to stand with Turkey. Yet, Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei on Tuesday warned against any military attack on Syria. He told Erdogan in their meeting that such an operation against Syria would be harmful to both Syria and Turkey, as well as to the region, and would be beneficial to the terrorists. All the three participating countries have special voices in resolving the Syria crisis. And this meeting helped them coordinate their different positions. In their joint statement after their summit, the three presidents rejected all attempts to create new realities on the ground under the pretext of combating terrorism, and expressed their determination to stand against separatist agendas aimed at undermining the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Syria as well as threatening the national security of neighboring countries, appearing to include concerns of different sides. In his meeting with Putin, Khamenei urged the two countries to increase mutual cooperation on a daily basis, notably in the oil and gas sectors. Ahead of Putin's visit to Tehran, the National Iranian Oil Company and Russia's gas giant Gazprom signed a Memorandum of Understanding, under which the latter is expected to make an investment worth roughly 40 billion US dollars in Iran's petroleum industry. Iran is an important energy producer and exporter in the Middle East, and Turkey is a gas and oil transit connecting the Middle East and Europe. Analysts commented that Russia's more interaction and consensus with the two countries could help it wrestle with the US-led West in the geopolitics of energy. The visits of Putin and Erdogan to Tehran came only days after US President Joe Biden's first Middle East trip, during which Washington failed to rally support to counter what it called the Iranian threat. Analysts commented that over the past decades, Iran's strained ties with some regional countries left Washington sufficient room to pressure Tehran through sanctions and isolation policy. But things are changing with more intra-regional visits recently. Both Biden's regional tour which ended on a low note and Iran's subsequent hosting of Russian and Turkish presidents have indicated that more countries tend to make decisions in their own interests, instead of following the agendas dictated by the United States.